In Black Boy by Richard Wright, he not only described his own, but the entire existence of black people as an oppressed nation. Having to deal with racist oppression from whites left blacks, particularly in the South, with no voice. They had no outlet for talking about their struggle or even seeing a way to change it. This devocalization left the black community only an outlet to turn on each other, damaging the black psyche. Humanity in itself became something blacks had to struggle for or fight for. And why? Because, as Wright puts it, blacks do not have the capabilities to possess human qualities. That is something that only belonged to whites. Therefore, for blacks, this inhumane degradation created in them a deep hatred for something they knew that they could never be. However, Wright goes beyond racial oppression on the surface and interrogates the levels of race. For example, his grandmother looks white but is black simply because she's married to a black man, she lives in the black community, and associates with other black people. Racism, segregation, and separation mean nothing until there's an emotional attachment with it. Therefore, the person is able to learn division of power between white and black. If you were to take away the emotion, you're left with equality. But there is not only division because of an emotional barricade, but that barricade means that blacks do not match whites intellectually or even in speech, not only because of educational differences, but the show that needed to be performed in the presence of whites in order to make the white man feel no threat from the stereotypically black male. Even though blacks were aware of this injustice, as Wright wrote, they were vocal about petty individual wrongs they suffered, but they possessed no desire for a knowledge of the picture as a whole. Education separates whites from blacks. However, the yearning for education separates blacks from themselves. So instead, they had the uneducated teaching the uneducated. Blacks did not want to seem weak-minded, uh, which in turn created a juxtaposition because by possessing or articulating or even searching for true knowledge and success was seen as foolish to the black community. And to the white community, that seeker then becomes a threat that needs to be destroyed. So during that time that left blacks to feel, as Wright puts it, therefore, if within the confines of its present culture, the nation ever seeks to purge itself of its color hate, it will find itself at war with itself, convulsed by a spasm of emotional and moral confusion.